Is it possible to create an entire drawing with just a few art supplies? Watch the video to the end and check it out! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! In today's video you will see how I will create a full illustration with two ballpoint pens and two watercolor paint cubes. I'm excited to show you that you don't need a large collection of expensive art supplies to create something really cool. We will discover how you can use simple and widely available materials to bring your creative ideas to life. Get ready to discover the power of creativity as we join together on this artistic journey. Let's dive in and unleash our creativity! You know that I usually sketch digitally on my iPad first and then we draw on paper. In the preview, you can see how the process of sketching Oogie from G Idol looked like in Procreate. G Idol recently had their comeback, and one of the songs from the new album is Wife, and the concept is short colored hair and the same clothes for each girl, usually some basic t shirts or hoodies. Oogie on her Instagram added some pictures in the concept of the wife song, which I fell in love with and immediately wanted to draw her. Initially, it was going to be a whole spread in a sketchbook, but in the end I decided to draw just one shot. And okay, I'm sure you've noticed the sketchbook I'm using today because of its cover with Guyon from Dreamcatcher. It is probably the cheapest sketchbook in my collection, which I bought some time ago at an action discount store for about $2. I am not a fan of basic sketchbook covers, so I had to decorate it in my own way. Would you like a video on how I decorate my sketchbooks and how I, how I do it so that my covers don't get damaged? Let me know in the comments section. I would love to show you what my other sketchbooks look like and how I create my own cover that delights my eyes. I mainly decorate them in such a cute way and use pictures of my favorite K-pop idols like Gion or Shion from Dreamcatcher or Momo from Twice. It is, let's say, a two part sketchbook. Half the sheets are thick pure white paper created for markers, and the other half are watercolor paper with thinner, more yellow pages. This watercolor paper is slightly grainy and in general I thought it couldn't cope with a lot of water. And how wrong I was! Even though I didn't apply a lot of paint, I used a very large amount of water to blend the spots as best as possible. At first I wanted to do it in the style of how I did the blob challenge. I applied a fair amount of paint which looked great with a ballpoint pen drawing on the blobs. Unfortunately, I erased my sketch too much and when painting with watercolors the sketch started to become more and more invisible. If I had applied more layers, I probably wouldn't have seen any of the lines made with the pencil anymore. Even so, I am happy with the finished result. But let's finally talk about the constraints of art supplies. Creativity is an amazing thing, but did you know that sometimes constraints can actually help to enhance it? I think limitations make us more creative, especially when it comes to art stuff. Limited tools can lead to innovative solutions. It's true. Our brains need boundaries to generate interesting concepts, and that's what makes it so exciting. Using just a pencil and eraser or a limited palette of two or three colors 
It is absolutely possible to create incredible, interesting drawings and compositions. In my case, I decided to challenge myself and used only three watercolor cubes and two ballpoint pens with red and pink ink to add depth to my drawing. It was so much fun to explore these limitations and discover the potential of the tools we already have. Being creative is all about finding innovative solutions with limited resources and it's amazing what you can achieve. I've found that when I have too many tools, I tend to focus on the tools themselves rather than the art I'm creating. This leads me to believe that I need more supplies, which is not only dangerous but also untrue. You don't need a hundred different colors to be able to paint. Therefore, this mechanism is designed to target the part of your brain that believes that buying more supplies will make you more creative. It won't make you a bad human being if you give in to that conviction, but it's something I would like to be more aware of. What I am going to say now may be controversial, but I believe that more art supplies, especially expensive ones, won't make your art better. Of course, more expensive art stuff can make working on a drawing faster, more enjoyable, but if we don't practice, even the most expensive colored pencil in the world won't make a drawing look like it came directly out of a printer, you know what I want to say. Just because you have more tools at your disposal doesn't mean that you will automatically become a better artist. Having the right tools is not the only factor that determines success. Sharpening and practicing your skills is also important. We live in a society which is inclined to consume and to try new things and this can be hard to resist. Personally, I try to stop my tendency to buy too many unnecessary art supplies, although it doesn't always work out for me. Anyone else have the same? There is so much beautiful and lovely art stuff in the world to buy that I don't have yet. There is always a risk of accumulating art supplies and not using them frequently. So I use many of my supplies daily, but I still have many unused materials, such as colored pencils, paints and sketchbooks. I'm sure I'm not the only person who enjoys collecting art supplies. For anyone who may be wondering why their art skills aren't improving, it's important to remember that you don't necessarily need fancy tools, but just a few simple tools used effectively can make a big difference. Just look at my drawing on this video. I will leave you with this conclusion, so let me know what you think about this. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, bye!